Yeah, I don't know if this is going to make any sense, but uh, yeah, I've stripped most of my, um, well, most of the uh, the garrisons for the central Paris. I just have the Austrians left to do. And you know what? When I was looking at like converting all the strength points and so on and so forth and thinking about um, the amount of minutia for detail and just on and on and on. And you know what? What I think I want to start getting away from, I still want to keep the narrative of all that stuff of like, um, you know, the regiments, brigades, uh, division, like the identifications of them. But one thing I think that's missing primarily, and what I've been reading up again over and over again, it, it got hammered in uh, this week when I was looking at the Macedonian front because they were saying that the Russians uh, were having, well, lots actually, um, uh, the Entente on the um, Macedonian front were having a lot of issues with the fact that there was very little rotation. So people were, uh, the troops were staying on the front for a very long time. And it was uh, affecting morale, obviously. And I thought, wait a minute, this is not being reflected in this game whatsoever. Uh, I'll check, but I don't think so. Uh, for example, I can keep uh, the 36th Infantry Division just sitting there. For, you know, the next four years if I want. And no one, no one's going to complain. Um, and I thought, you know, is there some way of, of giving some minutia and realism and not like basically the same amount of detail, but I think a bit more relevance. In, in, so why not do something like this? Hold on here. I have to grab my glasses. So what about doing something like a troop rotation affecting morale and thus strength points and try to um, have it uh, reflected in a, a die roll modifier or in other words, shift away from the focusing of divisions and relevant uh, regiment identifications. And I don't know, maybe have like a time marker for how long strength points have been at the front or even doing doing something like this. I don't see anything wrong with this. Something like, uh, yeah, fresh units and then like just time intervals afterwards. Like we could just, I don't, I don't see what the big deal is. So let's say you, you could even have, you would say on paper, uh, let's say, um, I don't know. Did I come up with some? Yeah. Let's say, for example, let's say these guys had 36 strength points. You would say on paper, you'd go, wow, look at these guys. But in reality, um, some of them are fresh troops. They're not used to what the hell's going on. Um, some of them are, so now they have no uh, die roll modifier. Uh, you know, they're just straight up. Other ones have been on there way too long, and you've got to get them out of there. In other words, it's there, and I don't, I, to me, that seems fairly realistic, and uh, I, it seems to be getting away from, oh, um, I don't, I just, I just lots of things. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to try to, um, stick with this type of, uh, tempo. I'm just going to think about it for a while. I don't know where I'm going to go with it, but, uh, I'm going to go, uh, like, just think about it.